The debate on Thursday opened a Pandora's box of calls for President Biden to step aside from the 2024 race. From both Republicans and Democrats, do you think he should step aside? Uh, I don't think that uh, there's a chance that uh, Joe Biden is going to step aside from this race. Since the 118th Congress began in January, uh, House Republicans have made it very clear that we are looking to hold those accountable uh, who have violated the public trust. And, and one of those people that we held accountable was one of our own in George Santos, where I led the effort to make sure that he, he was removed from Congress because he failed the American people. And we've done it with Secretary Mayorkas, and we're doing it with the Biden crime family. And there is very few families that have been in politics and government who have monetized their power like the Biden family has. And there is no way that Joe Biden, that Jill Biden or their inner circle is going to allow Joe, uh, President Biden, to not be on that ballot in November. I know you think he won't step down, but you said earlier that he's not prepared to be commander in chief. So do you think he should? I, I don't think that what we saw on Thursday night, if, if that is I don't spend every day with President Biden. If, if that is how he is every single day, then we really, as the American people, as his cabinet, uh, really, and, and as, as uh, lawmakers on Capitol Hill, need to really question as to whether Joe Biden is prepared to lead this country. Uh, but again, I, I don't see that happening, and I don't see his family uh, advising him that uh, he should step aside and allow the Democrats to put somebody else in place. Uh, they have way too much power. They've monetized it uh, more than most have uh, throughout the history of this country. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon.